Ahoy! Today we're going to learn how to meddle. Step 1. Inflate. You have the choice between a manual and electric pump. I know what I'd choose. Take the pump, plug it into... No, that's not it. The cigarette lighter socket of your automobile. Unroll your maddle. There you go. Slow and steady wins the race. Unlock the valve so that air does not escape when you unplug. Into the corresponding air outlet. Screw the hose, pardon my French, and shove it up the valve. Set the pressure to 15 PSI. And press the power button. Look at that. Oh, yes. Here we go, getting bigger and bigger. Step two, the fin. Slide it in like you do those DMs and secure using the pin. Step three, the paddle. It comes in three pieces, but that doesn't mean it's broken. Just put them together, you'll figure it out. It's not that hard. Place the colorful end of the paddle against the ground and adjust the last piece so that with an outstretched arm, your wrist falls over the tea grip, just like that. Step four, safe and secure. Make sure to bring all your essentials. The metal dry bag is excellent for keeping things, well, dry. Before it's time to board, put on a life jacket. It's the maritime dress code. Remember to tighten the straps. Well, you're clearly not listening. Step five, the leash. Attach the leash to the board. Yep, just like that. And then your ankle. For those of you who've been on house arrest, this will be familiar. Step six. All aboard! Now it's time to get onto the board. Start on all fours and get up one foot at a time. It's a little bit of a balancing act, but you'll get there. And there you go, you're maddling. Step seven. The paddle blade. Wait, that's not right. You must flip the paddle blade around. The blade should be curved away from the paddler at all times. The Maddle logo on the paddle should face away from you. <laughs> it's a common mistake, but not one you'd expect from people in a how-to video. Just remember, when you switch sides, keep your hands in a similar position on the paddle. Step eight, maddle time. There's not only one way to maddle. You can do whatever floats your boat, or board, I suppose I should say. Read a Russian classic on it, or turn it into a cheese board. <laughs> and why not try maddling on your knees? It's easier to keep your balance. But if you lose it, let's just say it's a lot softer to land on water than military grade PVC which is what your mantle is made of. There you go, buddy. Get back on that horse. After your ride, it's time to unpack and unwind. The maddle towel will dry you off quickly and doubles as a fashion accessory if you're so inclined. Step nine, cool off. Chill out in the sun. Grab a drink from the maddle cooler with built-in speakers. And just so you know, drinking on the board, that's a no-no. Step 10, clean. Rinse your board with fresh water. Step 11, deflate. After removing your leash and fins, start deflating the board. If you have an electric pump, it will be even easier. Kind of sad, I know, but all good things must come to an end. 
Starting at the nose, roll up your board neat and tidy. Close the valve when you reach the tail to prevent damaging the grip. Step 12. Pack. It's time to head home. Your cat is hungry. Put all your Maddle equipment in the bag, which comes with built-in wheels for easy transport and converts into a backpack. Farewell from Maddle, and may the wind be with you.